Let's talk about Tarisland. Now, Tarisland is, uh, you know, people are jokingly saying, oh, there you go. It's the replacement for World of Warcraft um, in, sure uh, in in the Chinese region. So looking at Tarisland then, uh, it is in development by, uh, by Tencent. And overall, like, it... Imagine right. if you took the WoW art style and I suppose you tried to move closer to hot. You cell shaded it a little bit. And cell shaded it a little, a little bit. bit of that, a little bit of yeah, Genshin, I, give a bit of Genshin lighting. Yeah. And that sort of stuff. You'll get there. And I've like, I, I've got to be real with you. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. So I, I, have, <laughs> I have this opinion now, which is, and it's going to come across like I'm a real sar because I am, but uh video games are looking good and looking pretty okay i feel it's a standard it's how they come together there's an overall product that i'm more interested in now it's been a long time maybe that's because i was a victim of uh, the mid 2000s as a video gamer i was like oh yeah so everything is green and brown and disgusting and this is because you think uh, it looks good piss filter yeah the, the 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 piss and mud filter of video games for <laughs> 10 years thank you very much that's thankfully gone but i think there's um there's a huge everyone's getting very very good at making video games except for in the design element there is a lot of that that is still as hit and miss as it ever has been over i design, find over design is like a, i think it used to be that it was harder to do over design because like things were so scrappy but now i feel like it's very easy to over design and there's a lot of games do well by having you know less design but better I don't know if we we're somehow to turn the principles of Dieter Rams over into video game design. I mean, yeah. obviously very different fields, but uh, I mean, we obviously know what it can be like when there's over design. I mean, I think a lot of people, they log into Lost Ark and they they just say no. Yeah. They yeah. look at the upgrade system and all of the stuff. They're like, no, this is too much. Yeah. I mean, the highest selling game of all time, Minecraft. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautifully yeah, simple. Yeah, I think that I put, basically I put a lot less waiting on how good a game looks now. Because mm -hmm. I think that's the part that's the part that's easier to get right. Not to, I, yeah. not to discredit well, people doing that. That is genuinely excellent work. Well, I, I would say I put a lot of stock into whether the looks will support the gameplay. Yes, and that's where I think we both like World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Where Last wow, you gotta give Blizzard credit. Movement's responsive. World of Warcraft, as we'll get into when I talk about the raids later, World of Warcraft combat is shining now in a way it's never done before. It's brutal. Yeah, like brutal G good. GG team. Hell and yeah. when I see something like this with like, yeah, you know, you can see the WoW inspirations. Hello there, Blood Elf and also Elf Anduin. Uh, but also yeah. you think about like this, looking like this, done in a modern engine. Um, I can do it in this. Actually, I don't know if Genshin is on Mac OS. It's on iPad. Yeah. So I have a, I had an M1 iPad Pro, and there's now an M2 iPad Pro, which is insane. But anyway, it was running for me. Genshin Impact maxed. Genshin's like pretty game look. Maxed 100 FPS. Freaking gorgeous. Mm. Buttery smooth. Like, you know, obviously runs, runs so much better than World of Warcraft. Yeah. Um, and that's like, that is in fairness, one of the things that like, I do have to give credit to... Uh, you know, to a lot of the games coming out of China, they yeah, are good, like doing a good. mighty good job of being able to scale. Like that Genshin Impact can be a satisfying uh, action RPG for people to play on their couch, on their PS5 with a controller, but also can be a game that they play in their phone or their iPad. Like, God, to admit, there's a decent strength to that, that now with World of Warcraft, like I guess the Steam Deck lets us do that. And I would mm -hmm. like to do a video on that, but I am giving Thomas my Steam Deck so we can see if yes. we can get Pale Beyond to be deck verified, mm -hmm. which would be pretty sweet. Like it does run on deck. Um, yeah. People send us screenshots, it's always cool. But when I look at the visuals of this game and I think about Genshin, I just think like, oh yeah, and this is, I think, mobile and PC. It is, yeah. And I just think like, oh shit, yeah, that would probably feel pretty good to play. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, Taurus Land. Now, it's not all like, wow, you know, this is maybe a bit similar See, and different. This is where I'll actually, you're a little bit of a sidebar, doesn't continue what I was talking about with how video games have a little bit of a lack of, um, or sorry, video games have a lack of uh, clarity and lack of design, where sometimes it works. Like in Lost Ark, I think the grand variety of settings that's all under the same rough umbrella works pretty well. Yeah. But it does feel a little bit like you're getting whiplash sometimes. It's a medieval to yeah. Mecca. Yeah, it's good variety. And I think, obviously, you look at the the first, I think the first major thing of that that made it, made it popular to everyone was Final Fantasy. Because Final Fantasy was, hey, this is a fantasy RPG. And you're like, wait, why am I on an airship? What the hell? People saw, like, Final Fantasy 13, 
or saw the aesthetic of Seven and went, this doesn't make sense. I thought this was a fantasy game. You go, no, that's had like blended stuff in its history. But that they always do that. Well, I mean, one, it was kind of a little bit meta and a little bit magic versus tech. But I think a lot of games go for pure variety to hit a load of points as opposed to going for something that's a really fundamental whole unbelievable world which is mm. a world of warcraft did that really well with, with uh, the sci-fi elements of tbc blending reasonably well people had issues with that at the time but they managed to pull it back into ah, it's magic crystals it just looks a bit sci-fi deal with it shut up and people learned to accept that over time it was like we went to argos and everyone's like this is the best patch ever holy shit you're like this is space travel on flying ships and you accept it cool but i think a lot of games don't understand uh, how to do that in a way that's coherent to the world. Yeah. And it's just, let's just throw shit at the wall to see what sticks. I haven't played it, but the worst example of me seeing that in a uh, in a trailer and going, Ugh, was Tower of Fantasy. Oh, God, Tower yeah. of Fantasy. Here's a fantasy game. Also, it's half like sci-fi and like there's cyberpunk elements in there. You're like, what the... I feel whiplash. So I think that's a thing that I see games like this and go, you're, you're just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks largely. Yeah. As opposed to going, we're going to do one thing and we're going to do... It. Perfectly. So, to dive into this then, for like what this means for the Chinese audience and potentially even for the West, a lot of big games from the East make it over West and do well, hmm. like Tower of Fantasy and Genshin Impact and Lost Ark. Now, uh, WoW is going dead uh, January 23rd with no immediate... Uh, China, for, uh, yeah. for context, so that's clipped <laughs> uh, You know, with no immediate uh, sort of situation. And now this game has recently went into beta testing, and there's plenty of footage out there. Now, this is a game being ran by Tencent. Tencent have recently um, been approved by uh, by the, the, the Communist Party hey, to uh, launch back up. Uh, Lost Ark and Valorant in that region. Uh, also, a good few months ago, there was a lot, a lot, a lot of crackdowns uh, on games. The licensing in the region was slowing. People were honestly getting like a little bit spooked. I think when we saw companies like NetEase and Tencent make a lot of foreign investments, I think we could quite clearly see them wanting to diversify away so that they can capture broad market growth rather than being overly exposed to a domestic market that, like, let's be real, you know, that they could turn around and just decide on a different policy mm -hmm. because... Uh, <laughs> there are who, who makes a decision changes sometimes every Sometimes <laughs> different incentives for things in different places. Yes, some just like yeah. that. And sometimes the person who made the decision one day is um taken out the back. Yeah, well, because <laughs> if you look at these two companies, like, I mean, like, make no mistake, it is capitalism that's made them big. Yeah, it's you know, just, yeah. In investing in all of these products, you yeah. know, market, blah, blah, blah. That's why the party hate them, <laughs> largely. Well, that's why it's been interesting with the regulation, you know, with, mm. um, so, you know, remember when PUBG got shut down and then the new version of like, whenever you defeat someone, oh. they, they stop and they're like, oh, well done, you did really well. Praise, and then they, and the then they turn into a chest. Yeah, here's the party. Oh, what's um, it called? Oh, I forgot. Game of Peace. Game of Peace. Game like of that. Peace. That's the new PUBG in, in China was called Game of Peace. Um, so maybe the winds have changed and uh, they're more okay with the gaming stuff. Maybe they've realized, hang on a second, this is this gaming some big stuff. But then again, they are very particular about their protection for minors and all of that, even to the point of mandating a lot of the facial scan stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yes. You know, which t to a lot of people are like, oof. Uh, you know, I would say that it is the uh, responsibility of parents to decide. Yes, the one thing there is to remember that... Again. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't know when it was, but it was recently, because uh, back a long time ago, I don't remember dates for well, but a couple of years ago, China turned around and went, video games are spiritual opium. And everyone went, you know, we like our spiritual opium. You probably have a point, but let's, for the sake of getting to play video games, fight that. And then uh, quite recently they said, video games are no longer spiritual opium. We won. We did it. Children don't play video games anymore. We're safe. Which is almost certainly propaganda and a complete lie because they knew they couldn't win because video games are... They make crack look like nothing um, in the grand scheme of things, which, you know... Uh, yeah. I have thoughts about that, but let's not get into those. I few, like them. a few lines of Ruby Life Bulls. Yeah. Ouch, I might kill you. No, you haven't, you haven't seen how hyper I am when I played, like, Splatoon 3 single player. Like, I can that's, imagine. Yeah, yeah, that's me just beaming in my chair. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> video games, but yes. 
<laughs> we decided the spiritual opium is not bad. More or less seems to be the responses. Yeah, so they're going to be more open with this, which means more competition, more approval, stuff like that. <laughs> We've ended the war on drugs because we like them now. <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we grew to accept each other. <laughs> the striking resemblance between Taris and... Well, well, no, well, it's Stargate. Stargate, yep. Stargate. Hang on a second. I love copyright. Are we merging Stargate one of my favorite IPs for some reason. Into World of Warcraft, one of my favorite IPs for some reason. No. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think so. Oh, now I'm now I'm sad. Hey, no. hey, these look pretty cool, right? Hey. You got a nice movement. That's gonna feel <laughs> what? Where's Death um, Wong? Sorry, Death Wong. Oh, it's Medivh. Oh, it's there's, it's Alphanduin in his Alliance airship. Kelthanduin. With a standard there's the Legion smoke intro. effect. There's a Legion intro. Look. There's it's the man, I mean... Oh, it's called Death Wrong. There we go. <laughs> imagine, like, look at how many cinematics it took for Blizzard to get this shot, you know, and also yeah. this shot, but they got it in one cinematic because they clearly just referenced all the Blizzard cinematics. Which is uh, which is interesting stick. because you got to go, when is it stealing and when is it in a match? Mm. Tasty homage. Oh, dear. He's in bother. Uh, so... There's Thunderclap. Yeah, we got some people fighting a dragon. That was actually just Thunderclap. Um, is dragon riding? Dragon I mean, riding. Um, Guild Fantastic. Wars Two mounts. Yeah. Except they don't have any. They're way too fast. And doesn't make sense. There's, very there's fast. Uh, That's bizarre. Return to Karazhan. Return, of course. Ret yep. Return to Karazhan, but with colors. Uh, yeah. Instead of, yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's cool, but also I believe does um, it does it beat the green piss filter? Yeah. And there's Goraktil or something yeah, like there that. There he is. That's a mixture of uh, Shadowlands enemy and, uh, and just and here's the. I'd say Dead Mines Ridge into there's, not there's, Teldrassil. There's Ardenweald with um, proper colors. Ardenvale. There's um, saturation, very high. And now, oh look, there's a. Hey, demo. looks pretty good though. Yeah. It looks like the gameplay is pretty, you know, there's slick max, and clean. Yeah, they're the maximum get. Definitely, this is not a Fury Warrior, right? In no way is this a Fury Warrior using charge oh. and then like uh, rampage. you know rampage. Oh, yep. It's definitely not that. And there's Lost Ark. <laughs> Yeah. For some reason. So <clears throat> there's a Jinyu. Yeah, but oh, there's well, the, looks more like there's the one of the F bosses. Uh, oh, one of the bosses from Thingy. Yep. Uh, Tombs of Garrus. Anyway, so the horn, this of, is the all... horn of Winter sound places during the trailer. It does. Yeah, I remember hearing that and going, Pog. "That's just the Horn of Winter." Pog. Come on. Here is um, Limsa Limsa Sky. Val Valimsazan. Valimsazan. Valimsadran. Valimsadalran. Yeah. So, how about though we take a yeah voice actors. Same Chinese VO used for a while with, uh, localization. Yeah. Cool. Which is obviously that's going to happen. So, let's take a look at gameplay then. Mm -hmm. It does seem to have like a little bit more of an actiony element yeah, with quite a lot of movement. Yeah. Uh, it's, and again, it's a bit more Guild Wars 2. -y. You look at this and you're like, hang on, is this a bit of WoW, a bit of Guild Wars 2? That yeah. actually wouldn't be too bad. It also there, has a DPS meter built in. Yeah. So, like, that's a solid design space for people. Also, that's a bit, like, lower detail, but that's a good-ass design for character. Even if it's just big it's here. So here's fighting a, you know, big dude in a raid. Oh, there you go. Nice, clear, telegraphed frontal. Um, the, the, I mean, the I mean, texture on the ground popped out for a second after you cast it and then came back. Certainly. So it's just like World of Warcraft. The feeling of scales here. Yeah. I'll give them that, especially if you're playing this on a phone. Yeah. I <laughs> don't know you're... how you do that and still have a neck. Right. What does he do next? Yeah. All right, hide behind the um, Aegis of Agrimar. Cool. <laughs> I'm just being a dick yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, we're getting a wee bit far here. Yeah, it's that, it's that tricky thing. Like, can I see Lazy Peon doing a video in this game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could I see myself? So, look, if I can play this, I might give it a shot to be like, okay, what is bizarre mishmash inspiration of all the popular things like? Yeah. Who knows? Um so, you know, there's a boss fight. <laughs> Citizens of Raladan look to this guy's doom wing in the fiery army. <laughs> uh, of course, let's take a look at our, our menu then. So we got our different action bars. We have our party right. frames over here. Built in damage per second meter. Yeah, except it's the top right instead of the bottom right. Um, so it's pointless. I suppose this is the objective pane. There's chat. Yeah. So uh, there's the new, uh, the new micro menu icons. From and then here's it in mobile. Yep. And like, th so this is a movement scheme that... Uh, you know, you got to understand, like, uh, mobile gaming is massive in China, and there are pretty awesome domestic phone. Hmm. Uh, like, their domestic phone, you know, stuff is, I think, 
You know the way you hear people talk about, like, I think it was the Poco phone a few years ago, or like, oh, it's yeah. the Redmi 10, and some phone I've never heard of, but it ends up having, like, crazy specs for how much it costs. Or yeah. even now the likes of Asus, who will give you the fucking ROG gamer phone with... I don't know, near 7,000 milliamp hour battery in it somehow. They'll put a 3070 in a phone somehow. <laughs> You're like, all right, does it cost as much? Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, so do you know what it is, right? It's one of those things like, There's I mean, here's Mon the deal. Mon Stelwin, Mon Stadforst. You look at this and it's like, oh. Wow, well, it's just lighting and shadow. Well, it's it now. looks, you know, th this, can you see a bit of wow? Sure. Can I also look at the, this and see, oh, bit of Genshin, bit of Wildstar, bit of this, bit of that? Yeah, because some of this shit's so goddamn generic. Our, uh, you know what I mean? Like when there's, you know, Tolkien did Tolkien fantasy, and then anyone else who does fantasy is like close to Tolkien, which yeah. is why people loved the Orcs of Warcraft, Everything because they felt good. like an actual proper narrative departure from Tolkien Orcs. Yeah. Uh, this is not the UI from Genshin Impact, no, sir. No, I mean, it's literally not, but it does have a lot of the same vibes. Yeah, that was technically correct. Yeah. Uh, of course, we want to look at some of our classes here. I mean, hey, yeah, they look. they look crisp. This is only at 720p being beamed to you through the internet. Yeah. Uh, you know, my, oh, worthless. dearie me, I've got lost. There you go. There's, there's, uh, there's Anduin. For the Alliance. I actually heard that in my head. Yeah, so that that's the situation with Tarasland. Has that's Bard. Bard, never mind. Better Definitely. That, that's, a fa that's the Fey folk from uh, from Ardenweald. Yep, sure is. That's not really. Um, but anyway, so this one obviously popped off. Uh, Mr. GM tweeted uh, about it. And then uh, <laughs> we got some big responses. <laughs> yeah, it got a lot of, a lot of the traction. Uh, Chris <laughs> Madsen's like, huh. <laughs> or Chris, my thoughts yep. exactly. Just dropping a big old huh. Yeah. Um, if you ever wanted FF14 and WoW to do a collab, I guess with a little injection of Genshin, here we go. Uh, Nasta, who is a, um, he was Chinese player. Yeah. Uh, uh, this game, plus. Tarslan launched its first beta test 56 days after Blizzard and Natty's parted ways, or is the announcement. Its only mission is to grab all the WoW players in China. This game has raid, mythic plus with affixes and everything, and can be played PC or mobile. Not going to play it though. Yeah. So there you go. Tyrus Land, go. man. They're coming for you. Hey, Bobby, guess what? You just let yourself be disrupted yeah. in the market. Yeah, yep. big dingus. This is what I think is the the, the the running theme of Blizzard's management is they forget to put their lunch in the lager. <laughs> so anyone that wants it just gets to walk up and go, that looks tasty, all that. And that's what Tencent are doing right now. Because you'd be damn sure Blizzard went to Tencent went, hey, you want to publish World of Warcraft? And then whoever tends to went, <laughs> Google Towers Land, that's our answer. Get out of my office. Go back, go crawling back to Netties. Yeah. Or go to Perfect World. Do you want Perfect World World of Warcraft? No, you don't. No one does. Do you want Alibaba Group World of Warcraft? No one does. Light Dance World of Warcraft. Do, do, you, want, do you want the TikTok people to, to, to publish World of Warcraft? And Bobby's like, I don't want to do that because then, <laughs> because then the US government will call me a bad person. Oh, yeah, because, because they, yeah. half his boardroom is in the CIA. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> Because you turn, yeah. Slight exaggeration for effect. Yeah, it's only, Just a, a, it's only, it's only a third. But you go, <laughs> uh, and also all Wilmer Hill people anyway, but you go to, um, you imagine the FTC looking at this and going, what's Activision Blizzard doing in China? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, you've partnered with Tencent. Ooh, should we maybe, should we let Microsoft have an in with Tencent and or ByteDance and or Perfect, well, probably mostly ByteDance to be concerned about in Tencent? But if that happens, you know, you could imagine that being a real concern for them. Like, oh, yeah, because that's just, everyone knows how bad that'll be if, yeah. it, if it got out of hand. 